bracket is up on Smash.gg. Okay. Man, uh, can we talk about that last match, though? That was fantastic. Let's talk about that last match. Man, um, that was so intense. I had to actually come into the stream room to watch game three. <laughs> uh, man, MVD and Nairo taking uh, Vinny and DK Will. Game one to town and City, man. Super duper low ceiling. Um, that match was just all over the place, man. Uh, I've never seen movement like, like that from a, a DK player until I've seen DK Will play in person. DK Will is something else, and he really knows his stuff when it comes to edge guarding and getting in the hard reads. Mm. But in the end, Nairo's technical ability with Zero Suit was able to seal that up against Vinny with that Sheik match in games two and three. They went at each other. Vinny took a game two to run back the game three, but mm -hmm. not quite able to close it out. Very, very close and good set to see here in top eight uh, 2v2 for Smash 4. Absolutely, man. And then that very last set there, game three on a final destination. <laughs> The, the last two stocks, uh, DQ and MVD, they just flew like just left and right. I mean, that was like probably in like five seconds of each other. And then we left it um, down to Vinny and Nairo to duke it out. Um, I thought Vinny had him, kind of like how he had in the last set where he just baited out the air dodge and hit him with the bandage, but uh, Nairo was just able to best him. Ended up ending with that up special, man. Well, they will now be waiting in winner's finals for the winner of this set, which we will now be having, which is Pulse Zenodo and Pulse Stewie versus the Buzz and Ally. This should be a fantastic match. Always. <clears throat> All right, so DeBuzz and Ally rocking the Mario Rosa team. Mm -hmm. Very solid team, something we really know here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Against Sonic and Diddy Kong of Zenodo and Stewie. Uh, this should be quite something. Zenodo making his, uh, trying to make his bid for the best, or at least one of the best players in the Midwest. I think he is. If you count Ally as Michigan or Canada, I think is where that depends. I think Zenodo's the best player in the Midwest if you count Ally as Canada. Okay, absolutely, man. I think I can agree with you on that one. Um, Ally and the Buzz, man, showing very fantastic team chemistry like I've seen in the last set um, with uh, MJG and I believe that was Stu, or no, Repairman, excuse me. Uh, MJG and Repairman. Um, the, the team chemistry there was just, it was immaculate, man, to say the absolute least. We just basically had a, we had basically... Um, Mario just staying in the back ally and then the buzz of course staying in the front and just literally just taking everything He said any projectile you take or that you shoot at me, excuse me, it's mine, dude I need that um, and then of course man, the follow-up group is always there as well too Ally just throwing the opponents right into uh, the buzzes up smashes are up there yeah, Ally's ability to read the ground game is something else He knows how to grab people out of just about anything as you see right there He misses that grab so that doesn't really go with what I was saying, but <laughs> generally speaking Ally will Get in, run in, grab, get a grab, and throw him right directly to the buzz. He's very good at knowing when his opponents are going to land. Great back air by Ally to finish that out. Um, his knowledge of Mario's frame bat is something else. Right, so Zenoda actually, he uh, that was a, a good option there. He's seen that Rosa, Rosalina herself was too far away, so he just opted into killing Luma, which is something that you just have to do by default playing Rosalina and Luma, but um, unfortunately went out a little bit too far and ate a back air there from the buzz, so that was a good read there. Yeah, DeBuzz is going to get taken out of his first stock, and there's going to be a slight lead still for DeBuzz and Ally, as Ally has been unable to get whacked by anything. He's sitting there with 128% damage. Um, he has not been touched in quite some time, almost since he hit that back air. Uh, he's only taken some very minor damage, but he is managing to withstand just about every one of these grabs, as that Sonic grab isn't going to quite kill. Absolutely not, man. And then, of course, um, again, still not quite going to kill. Mm -hmm. Another thing, too, uh, Rosalina being, like, top five lightest characters in the game, um, that's something she always has to watch out for in playing certain matchups. But here we have um, two characters, especially, like, with their forest smashes and up smashes, especially for, like, Diddy Kong and Sonic. They're multiple hits, meaning that ally has a chance to get over there and kind of knock, uh, like, break all that up and knock them out. Uh, knock them out of their, uh, their up smashes. On the other end of things, this uh, Zenodo and Stewie team of Sonic and Diddy has been pretty interesting. Absolutely. Where, where Allies got the frame data for Mario, Zenodo's got the frame data for Diddy Kong, and they've got things pretty much down to a T. They know when to go fish after grabs, hit their tilts, and they really seem to be playing very well off of each other as teammates in both directions. Mm -hmm. Um, as you see right there, Zenodo and Stewie have slowly been taking stage control behind Zenodo's bananas and approaches, and Stewie's just kind of been playing guerrilla warfare. Pop in and out as best you can, get all the damage in that you can. Right. Oh! Oh, whoa, okay. That was a really, really good down smash option. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zenodo right now sitting at uh, two stocks, 122%, so right now we're dealing with Rage Diddy. So we're not just dealing with regular apes here, we're, we're dealing with uh, Planet of the Rage apes. <laughs> uh, DeBuzz is... Uh, 
down to his last stock here. So it looks like Zenodo and Stewie have run this a little bit back and now have a small lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh, whoa, yo, yo, <clears throat> oh my goodness. I was getting ready to say, I was just getting ready to say, Diddy Kong with the very predictable recovery, that low is very prone to get spiked by um by a character like the Buzz is uh, Rosalina Luma, but like, he just <laughs> flipped the script on him. He said, nah, fam, you get to the blast zones. Here's a spike for you, man. He legitimately took the words out of my mouth when flipping the script. Yeah. So, all right, we that was a very, very hype moment, it sounded like, from outside. I just kind of heard the crowd explode from in here in the production room. Soundproof room, huh? Let's go. Right. Ooh, Yo! Rolls right into a forest map. Why are we rolling? Don't ever roll. Stewie read the roll. <laughs> Absolutely. And then hit the back air and ally. That'll take allies last stock. The buzz is now on his own against two stocks from Zenodo and Stewie each. He's a forest smash. That not going to quite be enough, but I think he just... I think he missed the DI. Okay. Just straight up. He kept floating. Uh, when you go into the blast zone, if you do a move back in the other direction, it carries you just a little bit, that momentum. I think that's what, what killed him there. Okay. Couldn't quite tell, though. It, to me, it looked like he might have just offed himself. He was like, you know what, man? It might not be worth No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, absolutely not, though. Yeah, I think the DI just wasn't there, unfortunately, and um, ended up having to die. So. All right, well, the Buzz and Ally are going to sit there and talk about stage selection for game two. You can mm -hmm. see the background there on the uh, camera there for the players. Uh, Quite a good crowd is starting to amass. Uh, we got a projector up on that right wall, as you can see. So we got a good uh, viewing of spectators here starting to acclimate for this pretty hype Millionaire Semis match as Zenodo and Stewie are up one game to zero. Absolutely, and if you guys are just tuning in, this is Events 2 Compete, Dismantle 2 here. Man, uh, the biggest match for a tournament to hit Chicago, to hit this, this whole area, the biggest match for. I believe that is correct. That I is am, insane. I am Pac Diesel, being joined by Rob the Dutch, and we are now in game two. We're going to Battlefield. Zenodo and Stewie versus the Buzz and Ally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, um, I really like stages like this for Diddy Kong. You know, the, um, the way that the platforms are positioned, he's able to like move a bit more freely as opposed to a stage like Smack where it's a bit small, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll see how he can uh, use the platform here to his advantage. Of course, another character, too, that uses the platform uh, to their advantage is Ally Mario. I mean, obviously, you know, you get, like, two up airs, and then they hit the platform, you can get another two. And hopefully, if all goes well, you know, you get that lovely up special. Personally, the only sta character I don't like this stage for is Diddy Kong because it kind of interrupts where the bananas get thrown, getting stage control in that, in that regard. But everybody else has their own unique little advantages in this stage. Mm -hmm. Um, Sonic can kind of freely run in and out up in the platforms, and spring into aerial yeah, is sure. so good on this stage. Especially for a stage with a, such a high ceiling, Sonic can really get up there and finish you off if he has to. Plus, Sonic being light, now it also benefits Rose in the same way. If Sonic and Rose are both, they don't die as early. Although right there, Ooh. that up air from Rosalina is going to take it, and followed up immediately by a really good read forward smash from Ally to take one stock each from Zenodo and Stewie respectively. Yeah, being able to throw so many up airs before she touches the ground is, is really difficult for certain characters. It's the best up air in the game. Absolutely, man. Undisputed. Oh, and we got a back air being this right there from uh, from Pulse Stewie. Him and Mario duking it out there on the right side of the stage. Uh, Mario right now at 115%. Comes in and actually ends up grabbing his teammate by mistake. Um, Diddy Sonic is such a good team because Zenodo can run in and do, you know, his frame four down tilt and try to, ooh, that's a really bad suicide for Stewie. But, see, Stewie can kind of chill on the edge here and hopefully Zenodo can get some damage in and he can kind of spin in if it looks like he's in trouble. Ooh, hard read, hard up smash, read. the ally special. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, man. Wonderful safe option there. From uh, from Ally, man, the up smash from Mario covering both sides, the back and the front of him. Um, there just really wasn't anything that, uh, that Zenodo could do there. Um, nowhere to go. He even tried to throw out the monkey kick to try to catch him, but invulnerable up smash. Mm -hmm. Of course, if he, he could have tried to jump off and then re grab the ledge, but of course, you know, that goes and get down smashed. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, the buzz juggles with the double up air to get that last stock kill mm -hmm. on Stewie. Now, Zenodo is on his own against five total stocks of the buzz and Ally. They ran this game hard back. Absolutely, man. This is a complete turnaround to what we've seen in the last match. Ooh, foot Ooh. Ooh, the Oh, footstool. that would have been so sick. Oh, my goodness. Just the back throw. Ooh. Back. This is the second back air. They're just trying to style on him right now. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with a little style either. Especially when you lost game one. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Mario Supreme up B. Mm -hmm. See, that's straight style. Ally, I know he loves that up B, but he usually doesn't just throw those out from the ground. Oh, yeah. Okay, jab him. Oh, he went for the footstool. Yeah. 
And again, oh, okay, so we got the ledge trump there, and he's really making it difficult for Zenoda to return to the stage. Uh, I think Zenoda, oh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it. He was trying not to use his up special because he knew that um, Ally would just jump right off and get him, but. All right, decisive second game win for Buzz and Ally to run this to a third game. Mm -hmm. And where do you think that Stewie and Zenoda should counterpick? Hmm. It's really hard for me to say where Zenoda and Stewie should counterpick. After seeing how, um, they won game one there, and then they ended up taking a, uh, a relatively big L there in game two on Battlefield. It's really difficult for me to say. Um, what would you think? Um, I'm thinking probably either Town and City, or they can flip to Dreamland. It's going to be one of the two, okay. if Dreamland is legal. Okay. Um, Town and City, I understand that's a great stage for Rosa, yeah. and it looks like that is where they're going to go. Okay. But in the case of the way Zenoto and Stewie have been juggling their opponents, they need to take the risk of the up airs from DeBuzz killing them almost at any point on any stage and just try to get them off the ceiling if they do decide on Town and City. Absolutely. Super low ceilings there for characters who uh, who like those up airs. Um, it looks like they were hovering over Duck Hunt. I'm like, please, please don't do it. They were hovering over Duck Hunt and Town and City. I'm yeah. not sure they know what they want to do. They might be thinking that the jank from Duck Hunt might help them out. True. And I mean, I do, personally, I love that stage, but a lot of people get a little uneasy and mm -hmm. so many wacky things can happen up in those left trees. Oh, they've decided on FD. Wow, okay. That so, seems fine. It's a great stage for Sonic. Yeah. And Diddy's Bananas can really take over some of the map control. Absolutely, man. Let's see if uh, the Buzz tries to get the download on, the, on that banana gameplay and uh, take it from him. Well, Zenodo starting off really aggressive on allies. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If he can keep that kind of play up throughout this map, um, throughout this match on this map, mm -hmm. then he should be able to lead his team to a win. Theoretically speaking, so we can just stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of felt like Zenodo was going to start this match off um, a little aggressive, man. Given how I put 34% like 13 seconds into the match, he just said, right when it says go, it's go time. Yeah, Ally and the Buzz have to really focus on stage control against this specific team. If they can keep Zenodo and Stewie uncomfortable off stage, then they're going to have a very, very hard time coming back and winning this set. Agree, man. I really feel like Rosalina can keep Sonic at bay off stage. If she just stood towards the ledge facing Sonic, I'm just trying to come back and just hit him with some jabs, making it hard for him to snap the leg. Um, that might be the, um, the advantage that they need here. On Ooh. Really good double back air from Zenodo. I should say single back air on double people. Yeah, on double. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ally. Oh my goodness, oh. it goes two four smashes. Now that that's the Ally I need. Oh, Ally, please. If at first you don't succeed, just try again. Oh, there and another forward smash. Okay, but not being quite enough to take out Zenodo, he does return triumphant. <laughs> Ally just sits there and starts up smashing until Zenodo dies. If, like you said, if at first you don't succeed, Ally has thrown out six smash attacks in under 20 seconds, and three of them have connected, one for a KO. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Now, that's a little bit demoralizing. So now, now Ally's going in for grabs early, and I think he's just trying to keep the pressure on the buzz and... Or, I'm sorry, not the buzz, on Zenodo and Stewie. Mm -hmm. Try to make it so that they can't mentally recover from that kind of a barrage. Agreed. Uh-oh. Is Zenodo going... Okay. Ends up going really far, but... Um, was able to return there. I think he was trying to give Sonic the ability to recover a little bit more unscathed so he didn't accidentally get the ball. Yeah, and that was a very good, smart play by Zenodo. And now they're back on stage and they can try to start running this game back. Ally and the Buzz really cornering them um, against the, what, what would be a wall if there was one on FD, keeping them on one side of the stage and keeping them uh, airborne for the most part, really making it hard for them to come back. Wow, the buzz throughout that up air trying to catch Sonic and he caught Ally who didn't die at 157. And now Zenodo and Stewie are in kind of a very scary spot. And Al Ally having full rage on Mario when they're already down one stock and both over 100% with the way Ally throws out smash attacks, this could be de very dangerous and very devastating. Absolutely, man. Ally, man, like you said before, sitting at a uh, max style rage right now. If they really want to uh, take this match, they're going to have to figure out a way to take him out. Oh, as quickly as possible. Oh, my goodness. And the spike attempt there from Sonic ended up actually killing Zenodo. It did. Uh, Stewie ran that right into Ally's face after that with a good back air, but the damage may have been done here. Sonic said 181%. Diddy's only got one stock left, and DeBuzz and Ally have barely been touched here in the second stock. They have quite the lead as Stewie loses his second stock there. Alright, so Zenodo and Stewie might each be on their last stock of winners. 
Now, I would I would assume right now, Rosemary and Luna being a character as light as she is, would be more on the uh, easier side to try and take out. Especially right now, seeing how she doesn't have Luma, she's easier to uh, Well, <laughs> just as I say that, Luma returns. He said, oh, I heard somebody mention my name. Here I am. <laughs> 12, 12 seconds might seem like an attorney for Rosa players, but for everyone else who plays this game, mm -hmm. it's a blink of an eye. I mean, because in a sense, that's like her Smash Monado, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's 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 her knockback. You know, by herself, she's more like, you know, the buster. You know, she racks up a lot of damage, but that Luma right there is the one that takes the stocks. Well, the buzz now down to his last stocks, and Otto and Stewie doing everything they can to just try to push in and get some damage in. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to need some kind of a hard read or some kind of a very strange offstage gimp here is going to be their best bet, it looks like. And, which Sonic very much has the ability to do against the character as light as Rosalina. Absolutely. You see, he threw that forward smash out there, but tilted it downwards. I think he, was trying to, he was trying to off the buzz. He said, you, you got to go. And um, one thing I've noticed about a lot of Rosalina and Luma players, man, um, like you can really tell how skilled they are by like, oh my goodness, the forward smash, by like how they um how they recover. A lot of like new Rosies, they just, they really struggle at recovering, man. I've seen the buzz come back from like the biggest of depths, you know? Yeah, definitely. A lot of Rosa players get a little bit scared like they don't know their name. Uh, as, yeah, does, two up airs is gonna take that entire game. Okay. All right, so good showing by Zenodo and Stewie, but the buzz now are gonna take that in three games. One big thing that happened in that third game that I noticed was every time Ally was off stage for those last two stocks, Zenodo wasn't really contesting his recovery. He was yeah. kind of just letting him freely back on the stage. Mm -hmm. And you can't help but wonder if he had gotten a little bit more aggressive, maybe kept Ally off of his comfort zone. Yeah. He could have popped him out. That's going to do it for me personally. I'll be back for Top 64. Rod, it's been a pleasure. Always, man. I'm going to let Sage take over. Congrats on Top 8, man. Thank you, my friend. All right, guys. Uh oh, it's Team Button Up Boys. Team Button Up Boys? <laughs> I got my blazer in the back if we need it. Right. Like, extra stylish. Right. Yo, man. But, uh, How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. I okay. uh, made top eight in doubles. I think we got seventh or fifth. I don't know actually where we ended up in bracket. Okay. One of the two. But I got paid out. Hey. So.